Mamba out. Bitch, I do this often. My bitch is bad, she always in the office. So I got a tags, I'm running my body. Can't see the pads, I'm living new fast. With 20, my dash, I'm up, but I lost him. He wanna brag, I did his bag and took what he had. Don't care what it cost him. Then he broke, he turned into a hoe. As soon as before, this shit is exhausting. Ran out of hope, I wanna be known. The stage of my soul, you ran him off. I'm already been broke. What's up, everybody? It's Nicky Now, Darius and Nate. Today, we are going to be talking about the Mavericks and their horrible destruction. That I'm whispering. Anyway, that's coming up right about now. Darius, what are your thoughts on the Mavericks? Horrible, no. floundering, <laughs> disgraceful, disrespectful, mockery of the sport, losing that they've been doing lately. You know, Aiden, this is very, 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 very disappointing. Aiden, at the time we were recording this, the Mavericks on a five game was a treat. They have, they have lost eight of the last 10 games on their schedule. You know, Aiden, you know, I've been a diehard, lifelong Dallas Mavericks fan. I watch every single Dallas Mavericks game. I know every single player on the Dallas Mavericks team. I love my Dallas Mavericks, man. And I have watched Luka Doncic average th a 30 point trip dope every single game. And the rest of the team absolutely. Contributes little to none. Aiden Luka Doncic is averaging so many amazing statistics. Man, he is without a doubt in my mind an all star starter, without a doubt an all NBA player, without a doubt a top 10 player in the NBA today. But guess what? The Dallas Mavericks still find themselves at the time you're recording this with the third worst record in the Western Conference at 8 and 12. They are seven and a half games behind the Los Angeles Clippers at the time for, for the number one seed in the Western Conference, 8. I understand that some of our key players on our team have missed, I believe, as of now, a total of around nine games for each player due to COVID-19 oh. protocol and contact tracing for COVID-19. Of course, the, those restrictions have hurt so many teams that have been that were contenders last year, and we. I understand that things happen. I understand that players at some point are going to miss games due to the NBA's rules and restrictions and protocols. But that is no reason for the Dallas Mavericks to lose eight of the last ten games when Luka Doncic is averaging thirty point triple doubles every single game. Aiden, what do the Dallas Mavericks, what what reason in the world is there for the Dallas Mavericks to lose to the Utah Jazz not once but twice to the Jazz without Rudy Go without excuse me without Donovan Mitchell without Donovan what type of reasoning is there for the Dallas Mavericks to lose to the Utah Jazz twice without Donovan Mitchell who was out I believe both of those games due to Concussion protocol. Aiden, this, as Luka Dunn says, this Dallas Mavericks team is looking like it does not care. And Aiden, that trade where we where we acquired Josh Richardson for exchange, the 76 got Seth Curry, we just got robbed by Daryl Moore. We just got robbed by Daryl Moore. The 76 ers won that trade. I believe Josh Richardson is shooting around 30-40% from the field. I mean, I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. It's okay. Seth Curry put up better numbers last season than what Josh Richardson is doing now. Look, and let and don't let me get started with Chris Osborne's man. Chris Osborne's He has had some of his worst performances in the Dallas Mavericks uniform this season. This man is a former All Star. People consider him a top big man, quote unquote, big man in this league. But Chris Osborne's is playing like he's scared. I'm sorry to say, with all due respect, Aiden, with all due respect to Chris Osborne, Chris Osborne looks like he can't play an inch of defense. He looks like he can't play no defense at all. What does Chris Osborne doing? Getting dunked on by Rudy Gobert all up in the paint, getting bullied by some of 
these rookies in this league. There is no reason to do that. Aiden, Christos Porzingis is supposed to be the second best player on this team. He's supposed to be the sidekick to Luka Doncic. He's supposed to be, he's supposed to be the Robin to Lucas Batman. Really? Really? But Chris Hans Porzingis, every time you play a top big man, Chris Hans Porzingis always finds a way to play along the perimeter. When he is guarding Joe Bowman B, when he is guarding Anthony Davis or Nikola Jokic, who are all possibly MVP candidates and MVP winners, Chris Hans Porzingis plays like he is a bench role player. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chris Hans Porzingis. Needs to play like he was before that torn ACL in 2017 when he was when he was quote unquote in his prime in the Knicks uniform. Tim Hardaway Jr. I remember a couple of weeks ago he went over 12 in a game and scored zero, zero in that second Utah Jazz matchup last Friday. Eight, Tim Hardaway Jr. I believe he recorded around two points, around two points, and he's supposed to be arguably the third best player on the team coming off the bench. He's supposed to be the sixth man. He's averaging two points per game. Really, that cannot happen for a team who literally made the playoffs last year. And without Chris Porzingis being injured, and without Chris Porzingis, and without Chris being ejected midway through game one, the Mavericks would have won that game. If Chris Porzingis didn't get injured throughout that first round series of the Clippers last season, I do believe the Mavericks had a very, very good chance to win that series. Don't get me wrong. The Clippers are a phenomenal team, but the Mavericks had a very, very good chance for Porzingis there. Chris Ellis Brzezinski needs to get in there. Dallas Mavericks needs to get in there. Rick Carlisle, I love you, man. I love you, man. But we need to find a way to get the Mavericks to play Mavericks basketball. Really, we should not be losing to the Jazz without Donovan Mitchell. And Aiden, the Dallas Mavericks have one of the easiest schedules coming up in the month of February. Have one of the easiest stretches of games playing some of the teams. Bottom of the tier teams in the NBA. And, and if we do not win the, the, those type of games, we're going to be in this fight. Let's say the Washington Wizards, right? The Minnesota Timberwolves. And if we don't win those games, we will miss the playoffs. And the, and the Dallas Mavericks, to me, are one of the most disappointing teams this season. We should not be the third worst team in the most times. There is no reason why we should be at the bottom of the stands, we should be at the top of the stands with the Clippers and the Utah Jazz and the Lakers. We should be in the we should be in that mix. We should not be a lottery team. Dallas Mavericks, Rick Carlisle, Donnie Nelson, Mark Cuban, Kristaps, Tim Hardaway. We need to get it together, man. We need to get together. We need to get together, man. Honestly, Dallas is a lottery pick in this draft. It wouldn't be half bad, actually. Y'all could get a swing at Jalen Suggs. Dude, we're not a lottery team. We are a playoff team. We're a playoff team. There's no reason why I mean, we I should make know. the playoffs I'm last not, year I mean, and miss it this team. I don't know. Dude, you, I don't Aiden. Know you're not playing like a playoff team. I mean, Aiden, 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 Aiden honestly, you can't name eight better teams than the, than the Dallas Mavericks in the West Conference. You're right. You can't name I can't, talent, <laughs> talent wise, I can't name eight better teams than the Dallas Mavericks talent wise. You're, you're very correct. All I'm saying is that if they get one of those top players in this upcoming 2021 draft, wouldn't be half bad. All I'm saying. Not saying they're going to get there. That's all I'm saying. The Dallas Mavericks do need to get together. You've heard it here first. Die hard Dallas Mavericks fan, Darius Adams. Oh, yes, he was weeping tears of pain and sorrow after that Utah Jazz defeat. I saw it with my own eyes, folks, as he was up in that booth yelling and screaming, cursing at Kristaps Porzingis as he gets jammed on by Rudy Gobert. Hopefully there's better, better, better days in the future for the Dallas Mavericks. But until then, this has been Sports Now with Darius and Aiden, and we're going to see you on the next episode. Peace, man. The press Dallas Max fan here. Get together with Carla. Damn it.